South now, where a reporter there, Natangwe Jimmy, is joining us live on the line. A very good morning to you, Natangwe, and thank you so much for joining us. Hello, Jimmy. Natangwe, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Um uh, we understand that the Kladis region in particular, Ketman Swap residents started a bit late. What was the delay? Well, basically, you know, there's a number of activities taking place uh, in the town of Ketman Swap uh, this weekend. It's the uh, first ever N Nama Cultural Festival. Mm -hmm. So I think that some people also went that side. But although, uh, you know, uh, the cleaning campaign started a bit uh, late uh, this morning, you know, eventually, you know, uh, things started picking up uh, and so on. And uh, really, you know, generally, uh, the town of Kitmanswop is actually a clean town. But, you know, what resulted in, you know, uh, more and more dirt piling up in the town of Kitmanswop is this influx of people coming from rural areas and then more and more informal set settlements being set up. Uh, and then this has resulted in, in, in the municipality, you know, finding it difficult, you know, to, 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 to provide services in terms of uh, waste removal services and so on. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at the visuals, we've seen that mostly the elderly were the, uh, were the first ones at, at the scene. Where, where is the youth? Well, it, it, ironically, it's, it's actually surprising that the elderly people were the first, uh, you know, to get up, you know, even though it was so cold. Uh, but, but uh, you know, as, as, as the day picked up, uh, you know, more and more young people got, got involved. You know, uh, you know we, we assembled at uh, what is called the Freedom Tree in Ketman's work. Uh, but you know, eventually, you know, more and more people started coming up. You know, if, if you look at the visuals, we also see that the CEO was there, one of the councillors was there also. Uh, some of the uh, SWAP uh, members uh, uh, of, of parliament was, was also there. But uh, if you could if you could see that you know as, as the day uh, the morning picked up more and more people started coming up uh, you know getting their plastic bags you know getting their protective gear uh, to, to 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 get themselves ready you know for the start of the cleaning up campaign. Mm -hmm. Now we've seen that from other towns uh, in, in 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 the country they are mostly targeting the informal settlements. Uh, which areas are being targeted in Kitmanswap? Basically, the, it has also been the same here in Kitmanswap because it's it's at the informal settlements where the mostly piles up. And, and, and I think that, you know, the, what the governor had said is that, you know, uh, this uh, cleanup campaign should not be the last, you know, she, would, she encourages residents of Kitman, of Kitman's open the greater Taras region, you know, not to stop, uh, but to continue to, to, to make sure that, you know, that we, we have, we start to create this culture of clean, cleanliness in, in order to ensure that, you know, we have not just a clean nation, but a healthy nation also. And uh, I think that, you know, the, the president's call has been quite clear, you know, in, in, in making sure that, you know, that this should become a movement, you know, this trend that is starting up, because we want to get back to, to our number one status, you know, where Namibia was known as one of the cleanest uh, countries in the world. Mm -hmm. And I think that with this initiative site like this, this will exactly uh, take us where we need to be. All right, Natangwe, thank you so much for that update. It's a pleasure, mm -hmm. Jonas. Yeah. That was our southern-based reporter, Natangwe Chimi, uh, calling us from Ketman Soap and giving us an update on the national clean-up campaign. We'll be right back.